Hello there. Here we have a Uni T model UT61 E multimeter and the E is the important part because the models A, B, C and D are quite different. I bought this thing off eBay. The seller said it wouldn't measure voltages. It was there was something wrong with it. So I thought, okay, this could be an easy fix, you know, maybe a blown up fuse or something like that. So I got it for a relatively decent price. But unfortunately, it turns out this has a problem that is really quite strange. So it's right now it's off, obviously. We turn it on and rather than measuring volts, it measures hertz, as you can see in the display. Now, of course, the shift function will switch this over to Hertz in this mode. So if we just press shift once again to uh, hopefully make it go away, we get a percent sign, which means it's now measuring the duty cycle. So we can switch between Hertz and duty cycle, which is this mode over there. And in this position, it actually works. It will measure frequency, it will measure duty cycle. Over here, despite the fact that it is showing Hertz and the duty cycle, uh, it will not work, which is kind of logical because <laughs> it uh, electrically, it should be set up for measuring volts. If we switch it to millivolts, it now tries to measure capacitance, as you can see says millifarad right there and if we switch over to ohm it does not even beep it just keeps on measuring capacitance and now we are going to reach the actual capacitance mode once again no beep and it will keep on measuring capacitance and in this switch position it will actually measure capacitance you can hook a capacitor up to this and it will show the correct value so that works. As I already said, the Hertz and duty cycle mode works as well. And switch over. If we move on, measuring microampere, this is totally strange. It now measures temperature. Now, the weird thing is, this meter cannot measure temperature. The UT61, A, B, C, and D can measure temperature, but the Model E cannot measure temperature. So why it's doing that, I don't know. And uh, we can switch it over to Fahrenheit as well. So that's messed up. No microamperes. We switch it over to milliamperes. We're back to capacitance testing, although it's not going to measure anything. If we finally switch it over to the amp range, the 10 ampere maximum range, that works. That is going to measure the currents perfectly fine. But uh, once again, we got capacitance when really we should be having milliamps. We have temperature when really we should be having microamps. And this meter officially cannot even measure temperature. We have Hertz when we're supposed to have Hertz. We have capacitance when we're supposed to have capacitance, but we also have capacitance in the resistance and millivolt modes. And then we have frequency and duty cycle in the volt mode. The off position luckily works. I just wanted to show you this weird thing and uh, maybe anybody of you has an idea what could be wrong with it. I'm thinking they just for whatever reason, they put the wrong firmware on this. Or they, I don't know if there might be a jumper setting in there to switch between the different versions, like they have the same processor in all of those versions and they use jumpers or little solder bridges to adjust whether it's an A, B, C, D or E, and they just got that bridge wrong. I don't know what's up with this thing. What I'm gonna to do tonight is I'm going to contact the seller and hopefully he is able to tell me whether this has been like this right from the start or if uh, something went wrong and it's been like that ever since. So, thank you for watching.